this old boat and the stone was salvaged from the yard and they were surplus and they were just going to be scrapped. So we've brought the boat to the veg patch and we're filling it with rocks and bits and bobs that aren't wanted, bags of old shingle and things. We're going to do a no dig principle with this as well so we'll put in a layer of card, some of the manure, some newspaper and then a top layer and plant into that. This is very very minimal. I know there's a lot more to no dig but we don't have the resources so we're doing this absolute minimal which is all part of the challenge so we're really hoping we get some results. The tarp will gradually be lifted because that's going to break down into the soil and we don't want that and we've got some beds ready so it's all very challenging and a learning curve so let's see how it goes right. so we've salvaged the dinghy from the yard which I've mentioned in another video we've put rocks and all sorts in the very bottom and also some soil that was over here that we've dug out and put in and then we're going to wet this down add our cardboard but make sure the cardboard is really really wet as well it has to be really bendy wet put that down and then add our layer of um, mix which is compost manure with a little bit of sand add that in and then we're planting it with flowers and herbs and so that's another no dig bed that we'll have so although this is the only this this soil here um, has got all sorts in it. There's roots, there's plastic, there's all kinds. So we've, we have sieved it out a bit, but we don't need to do any more um, other than put the cardboard down. So it's, so it's a no dig bed. So we'll wait and see. It's a really good colony, isn't it? Yeah. They're going to be munching on cardboard. Yeah. So we put the compost in the bow end because we've run out because there's a pandemic on you know and leave the other the stern just with manure and we're going to see what happens because it's all very experimental anyway and then we're ready to put our flowers in.